right, European racing is back with Ruta della Ceramica uh, a Castellon. Anyway, this race is a new race. It seems 1.1 comes after Volta and um, not just the Valenciana one-day race. So we've got Alexis Baudan, famous for the tram incident, uh, off the front. We've got a, got a smallish bunch behind. Uh, it's a hilly-ish race, not crazy. Um, small climb towards the end, like 10k to go, cause some separations from some not great people, like 5k, 4%, but nothing major. There's the Van Rysel bike, uh, which is the kind of new thing on the block. Test pretty quick. People reckon it's good. Anyway, this finish is uphill. It's about a 20, 30 second drag. And there were the usual suspects, Michael Matthews, Alexis, Alex Aaron Baru, uh, Oldano, Brian Cocar, you know, smallish sprinters or guys who are pretty light um, who've got good 20, 30 second power are going to do well. So mainly the footage of this, but I just kind of want to talk uh, about, you know, the race and getting back. The Valenciano yesterday, Jaco did well as well. They won, uh, Gro they won with Groenewegen, obviously a shocking tour down under for those boys. But yeah, they won Groenewegen yesterday, 125 points, so pretty decent. Um, so yeah, they were hoping to try and cop another win again. 3k to go, ticker slightly out. Uh, you can see these roads look really, really quick, but a little bit up and down and, yeah, potentially difficult. I think these early races are always interesting, the way just how good people are going. It's really difficult to predict form because some people will be training from maybe November, full, full gas, and obviously they turn up absolutely flying. Other people will have just barely done any intensity, and I mean, like, real nothing. And obviously they're not going to be as strong, you can see here, coming through the town. The bunch is pretty aligned out. Uh, I think it, Arkea... Uh, were trying to do something, but it was mainly uh, Alperson who were doing, I believe, quite a lot of work as well. No, sorry, Alperson actually weren't running. Movistar were main people doing work. Uh, it's really hard in these races to pick people out because the sun is starting to set because it's late in the afternoon. So a lot of the blue kits look very, very similar. Uh, so going around here, you can see it's pretty wide, big roads. Alex, is, Alex Boudin is struggling but hopefully we'll pan back and get to see the final part of the race kick off uh, i was going to do highlights about valenciana however unfortunately the footage is even worse than this and this footage i know is not great but i thought it's good to try and at least show some kind of you know uh preamble before the sprint gets underway otherwise it would be quite a short video and not super exciting so here we can see lotta sit out on the front They've got a lot of people who I reckon could do well. Um, and yeah, their guests have been training recently, quite a lot of them. I think they had to get there. And you can see the catch is really close to being made. People are getting spout for back, but these will just be people who have either worked or, you know, they don't have a sprint. Uh, it's not really like they're going to be completely cooked, would be my imagination for most of these people. We also had an exciting rider, Aula Uglis, who actually won Crotor last year. There were some doping elevations about Kahara Rao, but apparently it was all okay. But you can see Movstar here coming up on the left-hand side of the road, really doing a strong light up by Alex Aramburu. And I, in my opinion, he'd actually be the favorite. Michael Matthews is now second wheel, big crash, unfortunately. Uh, one of the Movistar guys down, as well as Kahara Rao, never good to see. Anyway, Movistar on the front heel, Michael Matthews third wheel. We got Stefano Aldani, I believe, moving up on the left-hand side with Crawford is about six or seven wheels back. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's fast downhill running. So actually being on the front is pretty rough because people carry so much speed coming around you that's actually really, really tough to keep it up. And obviously, if you're on the draft at this point, you are saving big, big watts. You can see on the left-hand side, again, a bit more chaos with uh, Euskadi uh, trying to move up, going into, the, into this sharp right-hand corner coming up. And yeah, Movistar managed to go through this corner first. Big gap in between them. You can see it really starts to get lined out now. And this is where you have to have good position. Michael Matthews sitting his third or fourth wheel at this point. Uh, and, you know, probably looking in pretty good condition. The issue now, Movistar, they've been on the front a long time. Alex Aaron Baru, he's, you don't get a good draft second wheel. That's one thing. It's like, it is good to be there in some ways because the positioning is really nice. But you don't get a good draft. And also people, it's very easy to come from behind with big speed especially in a sprint like this um so it's not great anyway you can see on the inside michael matthews made a good move there moved up actually onto the guy's lead up onto aaron Bruce's lead up real and he just goes really hard really really early now watch on the right hand side we've got pierre gautere now he did over a thousand watts for like 30 seconds so really really strong you can see not an elegant sprint inside but matthews just gets on the front and just destroys everyone it's just not even close uh we'll show the helicopter footage but you can see like he's got a bike length um, and yeah, people are really, really struggling. It looks a grim finish, like that looks horrendous. You can see everyone here, like really, really um, struggling. 
uh, Aaron Brew came third, then David Gonzalez. But you can see, like, Matthews was just so much stronger than everyone else. And I think it's pretty ominous. Going to have Matthews um, going to get some good points to Jaco, as well as Dylan Groenewegen. I don't know if Matthews ever really leads people out. I think potentially not. But it was a strong, strong performance from Matthews. He didn't really have a lead out. He just was the strongest rider by quite a long way. So anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video. Um, we've got the helicopter footage coming on here. And you can see Pierre Gautier actually had a big gap over Aaron Brew um, or was getting it out. But actually, Matthew's just easy bike hunting. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy. Hope you'll have some more footage of some of these Spanish races which I'm able to use. Uh, but until then, I'll see you in the next one.